Number 1. Three-Strand Pearl Choker Princess Diana's three-strand pearl choker held significant sentimental value for her. It was a gift from her family on her 18th birthday, representing an important milestone in her life. The choker became an iconic piece worn by Princess Diana on various occasions. The three-strand pearl choker held a shared significance among Diana and her two older sisters, Jane and Sarah, who also received similar pearl chokers on their 18th birthdays. This connection symbolized their bond as sisters and reflected their shared experiences. The choker's significance extended beyond Diana's lifetime. At Diana's funeral, all the Spencer ladies, including her mother, Frances Shand Kidd, wore strings of pearls in her honor. Overall, the three-strand pearl choker not only showcased Diana's refined taste in jewelry, but also carried deep sentimental value, symbolizing important moments, family connections, and lasting memories. Two. D-Charm Necklace Princess Diana's gold necklace with a D-Charm held a special significance in her life, particularly during her early years, before she amassed her extensive collection of valuable jewels. The necklace featured a delicate gold chain with a prominent D-Charm pendant, representing her initial. Even after marrying into the royal family, Princess Diana continued to wear the necklace, often choosing it as a personal accessory. The necklace with the D-Charm reflected Diana's fondness for personalized jewelry and her desire to maintain a connection to her own identity. It served as a subtle reminder of her individuality amidst her royal responsibilities. This simple yet meaningful necklace showcased Princess Diana's timeless style and her ability to incorporate personal touches into her fashion choices. It became a part of her signature look and symbolized her unique journey within the royal family. 3. Gold Charm Bracelet Princess Diana's gold charm bracelet held personal significance, with charms representing her sons, passions, and memorable moments. It included initials W and H for William and Harry, a wombat for William's nickname, St. Paul's Cathedral, a tennis racket, a polo cap, ballet shoes, a teddy bear, and an apple charm for her love of New York. Each charm symbolized a cherished aspect of Diana's life. 4. Engraved Gold Necklace Diana received an engraved gold disc necklace from Charles after the birth of their first child, William. The necklace featured the name William, written in Charles's loopy handwriting. Diana cherished the necklace and mainly wore it in private, but she also wore it publicly at a polo match in Windsor. 5. Francis Shand Kidd Earrings Diana wore earrings borrowed from her mother, Francis Shand Kidd, on her wedding day. They featured a pear-shaped diamond surrounded by smaller diamonds. Diana wore them for her first royal engagement, and her mother continued to wear them on various occasions, including at Prince Harry's christening. It is believed the earrings were worn by Frances Shand Kidd as a tribute to Diana at her funeral. 6. The Queen's Wedding Watch The Queen received a Vacheron Constantine watch as a wedding gift in 1947, which she later gave to Diana as a wedding gift. The watch featured a diamond-encircled face and strap. Diana wore the watch at various events, including an American Red Cross Gala Dinner in Washington in 1997 and a gala dinner at the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. in 1985. 7. Sapphire and Pearl Choker Diana's sapphire and pearl choker featured a large sapphire stone set within seven strands of pearls. Originally a brooch gifted by the Queen Mother, Diana transformed it into a choker in 1983. She often wore it to add drama to her outfits, including pairing it with a slinky slip dress at the Met Gala in 1996. The choker is particularly remembered for being worn with Diana's iconic revenge dress in 1994, when she made a public appearance after Charles admitted to his affair. 8. The Swan Lake Suite The Swan Lake Suite is a dazzling diamond and pearl necklace worn by Princess Diana at a performance of Swan Lake in 1997, shortly before her death. Made by Gerard, the necklace features 178 diamonds and a fringe of five South Sea cultured pearls. Diana collaborated with the crown jeweler at the time, David Thomas, to design the necklace using her own stones. A pair of matching earrings was planned to complete the set, but they were not finished before Diana's passing. South Sea cultured pearls are highly prized and originate from the waters around Australia and Indonesia. 9. Eleven Strand Choker the dramatic stack of 11 rows of pearls made for an eye-catching choker that Diana wore to a number of theater and film premiere appearances. It featured 11 rows of pearls, totaling 900 pearls, with columns of diamonds and rubies interspersed throughout. Diana often paired the choker with elegant evening gowns. 
10. Qatar Diamond and Pearl Earrings Diana received a magnificent pair of diamond and pearl earrings from the Emir of Qatar as a wedding gift in 1981. These earrings were adorned with a floral diamond cluster and a pearl drop hanging from a short stack of diamonds. Diana frequently wore these earrings to complement her most glamorous ensembles, often pairing them with other notable pieces like her aquamarine ring, the Queen's wedding watch, and the Spencer tiara. It is worth noting that Kate and Meghan have not been seen wearing these particular earrings, which were a regular part of Diana's accessory rotation. 11. The Spencer Tiara Lady Diana wore the Spencer Tiara, a family heirloom, on her wedding day instead of a tiara from the royal vault. It was originally given to her grandmother Cynthia, Viscountess Althorpe, as a wedding gift in 1919 and underwent modifications over the years. The Gerard creation features a central heart flanked with scrolls, as well as star and trumpet-shaped flowers decorated with diamonds and set in silver. Diana continued to wear the tiara after her marriage, including during her first official royal tour to Australia. 12. Crescent-Shaped Earrings Diana discovered Butler and Wilson costume jewelers in 1984 and often visited their store. She loved their bold and colorful pieces as a fun alternative to the royal family's diamonds. She chose a pair of crescent-shaped earrings from Butler and Wilson, worth pound 23, for a visit to Saudi Arabia in 1986. Diana enjoyed the attention and admiration she received for her diamond earrings, with many assuming they were a gift from King Khalid. 13. Snake and Star Brooches Diana wore an oversized Butler and Wilson snake brooch on a Jasper Conran trouser suit for the Prince's Trust concert in 1986. She was a fan of the brand and would visit their shop every few months, behaving like a normal customer. Charles also purchased a Butler and Wilson Maltese Cross gold brooch for Diana, which she wore with a Murray Arbide flamenco dress to the premiere of The Mission in London in 1986. The brooch cost pound 48 and Diana paired it with black and red gloves she had bought on the high street. 14. Engagement Ring Diana's engagement ring was a 12-carat salon sapphire surrounded by 14 diamonds. The ring, which became iconic, symbolized her relationship with Charles and their eventual divorce. Diana continued to wear the ring even after separating from Charles, but she was seen without it shortly after the decree Nisi. After Diana's passing, Prince William kept her watch, and Prince Harry initially chose her wedding ring. However, he later handed it over to William when he planned to propose to Kate Middleton in 2010. William explained that proposing with Diana's ring was his way of including his late mother in the special moment. 15. Emerald Choker Diana received a glamorous emerald choker as a gift from the Queen, which had previously belonged to Queen Mary. The princess often wore the striking choker, but later started wearing it as a headband. 16. Collingwood Pearl Drop Earrings Diana received diamond and pearl drop earrings from Collingwood, the Spencer family jewelers. She wore them on various occasions, including a dinner during the state visit of King Khalid of Saudi Arabia in 1981 and her tour of France with Charles in 1988. The Princess of Wales now wears the earrings as much as her husband's late mother, opting for the accessories for a simple jewelry look when she attended the service of Thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip last year. 17. Prince of Wales, Feathers Pendant Diana received the Prince of Wales Feathers Pendant as a wedding gift from the Queen Mother. After her death, the pendant was returned to the Queen's collection. Camilla and Kate have also been seen wearing the pendant. 18. C-shaped diamond and pearl drop earrings Diana was regularly spotted in a striking pair of C-shaped diamond earrings featuring baguette diamonds and a diamond leaf decoration with hanging pearls on each. She paired them with various outfits for different events. Kate has also been seen wearing these earrings. 19. Sapphire and Diamond Cluster Earrings Diana received a magnificent set of sapphire and diamond cluster accessories as a wedding gift from the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. The suite included a sapphire pendant with a diamond fringe, a matching necklace, earrings, a bracelet, and a sapphire-studded watch. Diana used four of the sapphire and diamond clusters to create earrings, and she often wore them as studs. Kate has also been seen wearing these earrings, but she has worn them as drop earrings. 20. Three-Strand Pearl Bracelet Princess Diana frequently wore a three-strand pearl bracelet, paired with her Catherine Walker Elvis dress. The bracelet was later passed on to Prince William after Diana's death. Kate Middleton has also been seen wearing the bracelet. 21. 
Aquamarine Ring. Diana's iconic aquamarine ring, featuring a 13-carat emerald-cut aquamarine, was commissioned by the princess and made by Asprey in 1996. She wore the ring for various occasions, including a fundraising gala in Sydney and a Christie's pre-auction party. After Diana's passing, the ring has been worn by Meghan Markle on several occasions, including her wedding day and during official engagements. 22. Gold Bangle with Blue Stones Princess Diana's gold bangle with blue stones was worn by Meghan Markle during her visit to the Lord Gage Center in Newham, East London in 1990. The bangle, part of Diana's jewelry collection, has been passed down to her two sons. Meghan also wore the bangle during her Australian tour with Prince Harry in 2018, as well as for a charity gala performance at the Royal Albert Hall. The bangle adds a touch of elegance to Meghan's outfits. 23. Butterfly Earrings Meghan Markle wore a pair of butterfly-shaped earrings the day after announcing her pregnancy during her Australian tour with Prince Harry. The earrings, adorned with diamonds and darker stones on the lower wings, were a favorite of Princess Diana's. Diana wore the earrings during her royal tour of Canada in 1986, paired with a matching statement gold necklace featuring a large butterfly. 24. Cartier watch Diana frequently wore a gold Cartier tank watch on various occasions. After her passing, Prince William kept the watch as a remembrance of his mother. He later exchanged it with his brother Harry for Diana's engagement ring, which William gave to Kate. Harry is said to have given the watch to Meghan, who has been seen wearing it in official photographs and during events such as the Invictus Games.